but you want to take all the work out of it, then you just do this. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome to Fresno Zip Files, episode eight, baby. Episode eight, here we are, nine, nine three seven three zero. Oh. Copper River, Copper River, we look, beautiful area, Mario. Man, this is a really great area, man. Uh, how many listings right now we got going on here? We got, we got twenty two active. Twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. Wow. We got range from four hundred thousand all the way up to one point nine million. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. So, so as you guys hear that uh, this area is pretty wide range as far as values go. Um, and honestly, you know what, Mario? Um, the average sales price right now, or the median sales price, is seven hundred and forty-three thousand. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's up there, and you probably see some of the some of the higher end back here, actually. And you got the waterfront property. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. it's it's raining a little bit today, but well, on on a sunnier day, it's beautiful, beautiful land out yeah. here. It's a beautiful area, you know. Um, did you know the median household income in this in this area for three zero is? Hundred and eighteen thousand. That makes sense, man. So definitely yeah. an upper end area. We're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of cool things today. We're gonna go to several places and check out. Yeah, yeah. And we got a, a starving artist bistro lined up, um, and we're just kind of gonna hang out there and Sweet. and Sweet. Uh, chop it up. Yeah. So. Let's go check it out over there. And uh, you guys sit tight. It's got a great show for you guys. Copper River. See you guys later. See ya. All right, guys, we're here with Bob Sullivan of Starving Artist Bistro. Bob, how you doing? I'm a blessed man, thank you. That's good, awesome. good. Hey, I see you got some music going on here. Uh, tell us about that. Well, we're an environment of music, art, and food. I mean, what better combination can you get than music, art, and food, right? Yeah. So um, the stage is an open mic format from 11 a.m. when we open our doors until we close at night. Right now, the hours kind of fluctuate depending on um, what's going on with the different colors that they've changed to on the state. Um, but the idea behind the Starving Artist was to get newcomers a place, a platform to um, perform for family and friends. Awesome. And oh, nice. So that's, that's, that's the great. whole environment right here. So. Awesome. Um, we have an organization called Music for Hope that we participate in, which uh, we take in new used or damaged music equipment, mm -hmm. and we're able to donate that back to elementary, junior high, and high school kid music programs here locally. Wow. Um, an investment in a kid's musical education, the first year of their lessons, their grades go up by 11%. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. how, do you, how do you like the area, the type of people, like it just in general? Well, what I like about it is it's in their backyard. All the art on the wall that you see in here is local area artist artwork. Oh, and wow. we're at 168 pieces of art sold off the wall, which means 168 of our neighbors now have a piece of art from a local artist in their home. Oh, wow. And Jason Casey was one of my first artists through here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he does the like the red butterfly over there, the blue work on a metal. Oh, sweet. And he's now in all the Granville model homes, and he never displayed a piece of art wow. anywhere. So it's <laughs> it awesome. opens up the door for different types of art, all art. That's why it says starving artists with the S. It's not, it's all inclusive. It's yeah. So do you play a little bit yourself? Oh, you? I play a little bit of everything poorly, as I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah part if you want. But the name of this plaza is Riverview Plaza, and right. there is absolutely no view of the river because there's no <laughs> windows on this side. Yeah. So we've been arguing and asking for rooftop dining for quite a while. We're oh, trying. There you go. We're, That'd um, be great. But I, I figured that I found out being an outsider coming in 20 plus years ago now. Um, where the no in Fresno comes from, because here there's no river and no view, river view. <laughs> but right down the way is River Park with no river and no parking. There you go. So you put no it in front of sense. all of that, and it, it all, all comes sense. together. <laughs> um, the one of my bartenders opened for the Van Bush, John oh. Sterling, and Jonathan got the gold guitar. Well, I actually got it signed, and. Uh, Jonathan goes, I opened for him, I never even got to meet him. <laughs> and I pulled out another guitar for him and I said, Jonathan, I got this one signed for you. So, wow, he goes, well, so yeah. <laughs>